Hello everybody, welcome to MQTT Monday. In today's sessions we are going to be talking about payload format description in MQTT 5. Payload format description is one of those features that got introduced by the explicit wish of the users. Today's IoT deployments can be very large scale and contain multiple vendors within the same project. So interoperability is a huge factor. One of the features that makes it possible is payload format description. But how does it work? Two attributes in the publish packet. The first of set attributes is the so-called payload format indicator. It is a Boolean value that describes whether the payload is a undefined byte stream represented by the byte zero or a UTF-8 encrypted payload represented by the byte one. In case of a byte one, so a UTF-8 encoded payload, the second attribute, which is the content type, can be used as an arbitrary string descriptor of what the UTF payload exactly is. You can think of it similarly to the MIME types that are known from HTTP. There is no defined table what means what, so every user can use their own descriptions. Now, why do we need payload format descriptions and what does it bring to the table of the MQD5 protocol? First thing that comes to my mind is the next step in defining the MQD protocol, which is bringing industry standardized payloads to multiple industries. So for example, if all solar panel vendors agree on the strict structure of a payload for measurements in their machines, they can put whatever they call that standard in the content type of a publish. A second good use case for the use of payload format indicators is that you will be using possibly multiple different types of payloads within the same project. And the receiving client of a publish can know how to parse the payload that it received only by looking into the payload format indicator without having to actually open the payload itself. Think about multiple different JSON versions where the JSON version could be represented in the content type. I hope to see you next week when we will be talking about the request response pattern. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.